what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna have my buddy Bruce actually put the goal on this track for you. So now he's gonna go one to the solution, he's gonna rinse it before he goes on to the bar. Now he's doing that because he wants to make sure that he gets the, uh, the solution all over the piece first. So when he goes now, you can actually see it actually electrifying in the tank. Now the time went off. Now this is what it is. Now you can see the color of it, but we have to make it darker. So what he's going to do, he's going to actually go in there, he's going to wave it. And that actually makes the color a little bit darker. And he's also putting more gold on there. Now you actually can see the color looks yellower. Now from here, he's going to go into a drag out. Now he's going to go into another drag out, which actually has what they call a gold bug in there, which is a recovery sauce, and they recover the, it actually plates the gold on. From here, it's going to go over here into a rinse. Now out of this rinse, I'll take it from here, and now it's got to be dry. Of course, you see he's rinsing it, he's rinsing it, he's rinsing it. All these guys, their poor arms by the end of the day are actually three, four inches longer out of all the time they have to rinse it. So we'll go from here, now we're going to rinse it. Now you'll see another water over here. This is not tap water. This is all distilled water. It goes, it takes out all the, uh, the impurities, it, it carbon treats it, it goes through resins to make sure we get spot free cleaning. And then it's also heated, so it dries quicker. Now what I'm doing here, I'm going to lay it down. Now you're going to see me, what I got here is I got air coming out of here, just normal air. What I want to do is I want to blow all the excess water off this piece so it can dry quicker. Because we can't leave stuff in there for hours. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the racks here. Now I'm going to get the piece. Now we have to make sure that we're not wild men and go crazy and blow all the pieces so they can bang. So we got to go very, very, very lightly and fast. And what we're doing now is we're blowing all the excess water off. It takes a little time, but patience goes a long way. And remember, quality is our number one word. Quality, quality, quality. And from here, and you'll hear me say quality all the time, right? But the word quality means a lot. You have to really feel it in here to really want to do something good, right? You can, you can say, okay, a poor quality house, take the piece and run it down and throw it in. But if you don't really care what you're doing with the piece and care about it inside first and care about what you're doing, the rest doesn't matter. So care about what we're doing. This is what American Plating does. We care about one piece, a thousand pieces, no matter what it is. Because we want to make the best product and the best quality that we can get on the piece. Now we're going to go into what looks like a, a square box. No, it's not a coffin, but sometimes you never know. We like to put somebody in there. So we're opening it up, and you'll see work in here. It's all in here. But I can't go in that one because it's full. So I'm going to go into the next one. Aha! Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it up. Basically what this is, it's a hot air dryer. It's got like a, like, like a radiator in, in your house, a radiator in a car that gives off heat. It's got a big motor, it's got a big fan on it. What it does is circulates the air round and around and around and it blows hot air. It gets up to probably uh, 180 degrees, 190 degrees and it dries the work nice and clean. Now, as you can see, we have some work here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take, I'm going to take another rack out for you so you can see it. We close the door to keep the heat in there. Now all the work after here goes on to finishing what we call a truck. Now you see all this work here, right? You got all different type of chains, the different type of earrings. Now what we'll do is we'll go from here. I'll grab this. Now we're going to go over and we're going to go put it near the inspection bench. 
Now as you can see, we have low lights and everything. We can see everything here. Now what happens, we have our main inspector who's in charge of all the takedown girls. And what she'll do is she'll actually look at this piece She'll look at it up and down, sideways, underneath. She'll look at it between the links. And she'll look at the whole thing and she'll determine whether or not it's good or bad. Now, she'll make it, if she sees any flaws in the piece at all, she'll come and get me, I'll look at it, and we'll take it from there depending on what we have to do with it. But this chain is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, there's nothing wrong with it. Then after here, what they do, the girls over here, as you can see, all the girls are actually taking it down, they're spooling it up on, uh, on spools, they'll be, they inspect it. You know, some people call it art, some people don't. I like to think I'm an artist.